going to have to work together going forward. It's absolutely critical for our success into the future that we are unified and that this devolution reaches every single part of our city region. And it's not to one element of the city region at the expense of the other, but all parts working together. And I, I said a moment ago, it's not just about local politics, it's about how everyone gets to contribute and play their part, and it requires leaders in business and culture and all the other sectors that I refer to. We're not going to succeed, and we're not going to punch our weight on not just the national stage, but the international stage, unless we bring those people together. And actually, I was speaking to one of the leaders of the, of the councils just the other day, and he said, you know, going forward, it's going to be absolutely crucial that we work together, particularly in light of the cuts that we know are going to be coming from central government. You know, they are giving with one hand, but taking more away with the other. So it is going to be absolutely imperative that we work together. And I am clear from all the work that I've done as a constituency MP, as a shadow cabinet member, that I've got that record of bringing people together. And that's exactly what I'd do if I was the Metro Mayor. I think it, there needs to be greater collaboration, really. And there, there are an awful lot of personality politics that still exist in the, the Merseyside and the Holton uh, area. And we need to have a clear vision where everybody can get behind what it is that needs to be achieved. Not on behalf of leaders or a Metro Mayor, but on behalf of the people that we should be serving, which is the 1.5 million people of the Liverpool City region. That's the only way that you'll put aside those tribal differences and one of the things that I've said, it's not just about what happens in Liverpool. The thing about a northern powerhouse, which is a, an artificial construct that I don't believe in any way will ever see the light of day. Um, but we do need to build a northwest powerhouse. And if you're talking about tribal differences, there's no bigger tribal differences between Liverpool and Manchester. We need to work collaboratively. We need to, where it's in our joint interest to do so, by the way, not just uh, to do it for doing its sake, but we need to work much more better and coordinated, so that if we do have a Tory government, if we do in 2020, we can go as two great cities of the North West to try and fight together for a better deal. I went across to Whittle and showed Whittle that I wanted Whittle Waters to be developed because it was important to the whole city region. That was when it was a Tory-led Whittle. I went across there. If you look at the Holton Bridge, that was supported by the combined authority and the people together. If you look at what's happening in terms of development across the city region, that's also being supported by the combined authority and what we're doing now. So I don't believe that is the case, Chris, that, that uh, people are disunited. You only have to look at the agreements that we've made. Uh, for instance, Shakespeare in the North, you only have to look at what we're doing, collaborating with Will in terms of on culture and development and other things across the whole city region. And so things are happening, we are working together, and it's no longer um, a, a parochial, you know, we want this and you shouldn't get that. It's a joined up approach with a joined up vision. The leaders of Whittle, Sefton and Knowsley uh, are backing my manifesto because they see it as the right thing for the whole city region, not just for one part.